I think our environment is incredibly important. I think if we were in a conventional office building, we'd be a completely different business. I think for the kind of business we are and for how I need to interact with the people that work for me and vice versa, I think it's really important not to have doors and not to be walled in. My desk is in the middle of the office and I can see and hear everyone. I think it's important to be approachable. I mean, having said that, I, I'm conscious that I intimidate people because I am who I am. And it, you know, you can, I try not to, but some people try to, you can establish a force field around your desk even if you don't have walls. <laughs> so it's, it's perfectly possible to give up do not disturb me vibes if you, if you don't want to be disturbed. Both of our founders worked for Google, who have obviously been uh, an exceptional innovator in, uh, in cloud computing and generally in the, the technology space. Everybody knows Google as a, a fun place to work where smart people want to go and work, and that's very much something that CloudReach has tried to replicate uh, to an extent. Everybody, and that includes the two gentlemen that founded the company, James and Pontus, will hot desk, and that means they'll get to sit next to uh, different people on a daily basis. It does mean that we can also work together in project teams without restrictions where needed, but uh, more importantly, it just encourages that free flow of information and discussion. I think we've probably all seen offices uh, in the past where there's lots of people, lots of glass booths, lots of offices, lots of discreet people sitting at their desk on their own phone, silently tapping away. That's not how we want to work. That's not how you foster innovation. Businesses tend to want to follow other businesses and what they believe is best practice. What some businesses will do is say, well, Google, I want that. Give me a Google office. And you can give them that space. You can give them a breakout area and say, oh, well, there's your beanbag chairs and your whiteboard and your video game. Now go create. Go be innovative. And the fact is, is that if you haven't actually given people the freedom and the empowerment to feel comfortable using that space because of what would be called a presenteeism culture or this idea that you have to be seen at your desk to be working, then people aren't going to feel free to use that space and it's not going to end up facilitating what outcome you think that it might. One of the things that concerns me about open plan offices is they're not in themselves conducive to creativity in, in the way that I would define it. The noise that's generated in those environments, the email notification going, the phone ringing, somebody talking loudly about last night's coronation, whatever it is. And so you can't get to that mental state where you can really be thoughtful and creative about what you're going to do. Certainly some of our engineers, if they're working on a, uh, a challenging programming algorithm, perhaps would like some, some peace and quiet. Uh, however, we provide everybody with noise-cancelling headphones um, that they can put on should they wish to escape from some of the, the noise and the, uh, the hubbub of the office. And equally, people can work from home. Open plan offices go back to the 50s and 60s, came over from West Coast North America, and they were brilliant. At a time when you had no collaboration tools or anything like that, if you wanted to get a project team working together, brilliant. Stick them in the same room, in the middle of the floor, they'll talk to each other, fantastic, be great. Well, fast forward to today, where we do have great collaboration technology, and we do have the ability to work from different spaces. We're still shoving people into the middle of the floor. Some people argue this is good for creativity, but in fact, although some people are happy in open plan offices, introverts often hate them. They hate the noise and they work better with more privacy. So this kind of environment doesn't work for everybody. There's other little really interesting uh, dynamics where, you know, the sense of open plan, it, it kind of makes people feel like antelope on the savannah in Africa because they're vulnerable. Nobody wants to have that really wacky creative idea because maybe the herd won't like that or maybe the predator will pick on them. so and, and I you know I'm, I'm probably overselling that that picture but it just doesn't help with that sense of creativity so I think what started out as being a great idea to help people collaborate actually now constrains people in how creative they can be because of the distraction because of the noise because of the sense of vulnerability that you get from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.